Hey, my lovely lions. So apparently the class pack was released and I totally missed that. But luckily a person on Facebook from Greece, I believe, uh, said it was released and I'm going to go ahead and make a video about it. So I don't like this class pack at all. It does have the foil Corsair crew fix and I'll go in more detail about that particular card a little later but I don't like it. It seems extremely weak. So we're going to go over the deck list. Um, there is a Despise. There's a Naturalize. Uh, you have a Soul Tide Charm. You have two of those, two Murderous Cuts. You have a Promo uh, Hero's Downfall, which I'll talk a little bit more later. Uh, Treasure Cruise. I mean, there's not much in the deck. A Hero of Torment. Uh, I mean, these are just penny cards. Scuttling Doom Engine is an interesting card because it used to be kind of expensive, but now I don't feel like anyone's really going to use it. So now let's talk about the promo cards a little bit. Uh, Hero's Downfall Foil Alternative Art is the only real one to talk about in this particular scenario. Uh, yes, Necropolis Fiend is cute. It's a little cute little Delve card. Sotai Ascendancy with new artwork. The new artwork, in my opinion, is better, but like not that much better. So Hero's Downfall is not a modern playable card. In my opinion, it is not a legacy playable card in anyone's opinion. It's just not good. So moving on to the next deck. The next deck is a enchantment type of deck. Very, I mean, the one card we will spend some time to talk about is the foil Corsair crew fix because that's the only one that gives this pack any kind of legs on it. So Grim Guardian, you got your uh, Grave Robber Spider, Reaper of the Wild, Eldeon of Blossoms, Doomwake Giant. I mean, these are all pretty much penny cards. So let's talk about the uh, promos. Reaper of the Wild's penny card. Whip of Erebos, I don't like it. Like it's The artwork is kind of mad to me. And in my opinion, Whip of Erebos is not even that great of a card. Corsair Crufix foil on Star City Games is $25 right now. Which, depending on where you're buying this class pack, could make up pretty close to the actual class pack itself. Corsair Crufix, I don't like the artwork and don't feel like this price will keep. Uh, in my opinion, Corsair of Crufix uh, is a modern playable card, but it's not Abrupt Decay. And for it to keep Abrupt Decay prices, or uh, it's not going to be possible. Corsair of Crufix, good card, modern playable. I just don't see this being the foil version that people want to play. I see this compared to Profit of Crufix. Uh, Profit Crufix, in my opinion, the promo art version has the better art of the two and therefore I could see right now the ratio between promo foil and regular foil is like $10 to like a dollar or a dollar fifty and that would eventually bounce out. The Corsair of Crufix foil versus promo Corsair Crufix foil I don't see that balancing out at all. I don't like the artwork. I don't feel like it's a good value. I don't feel like this class pack is a tremendous value. In fact I feel like the last class pack was actually a much better value.